let's get right into it. Number 10. The False Vacuum Theory Our universe might be living on borrowed time. Think of it like this. Our entire universe is balanced on the edge of a cliff. It looks stable, but it's not at its most stable state. Scientists call this a false vacuum state. If any tiny part of the universe finds a more stable state, it would create a bubble. This bubble would spread out at the speed of light, destroying and changing everything in its path. Inside this bubble, the laws of physics would be completely different. Atoms wouldn't work the same way. Matter as we know it wouldn't exist. Everything would just stop being what it is. We wouldn't even see it coming. Since this bubble would move at light speed, we'd be gone before we knew what hit us. No dramatic buildup, no epic final moments, just instant destruction. Scientists think something like this might have happened before, right after the Big Bang. That event created our current universe. But if it happens again, it would create a completely different universe, one where none of us could exist. Every second that passes could be the one where our universe decides to find a more comfortable position. Number 9. The Brain Collision Theory Our universe might have started with two giant cosmic sheets crashing into each other. Scientists call these sheets brains, which is short for membranes. It's like the universe's version of a car crash that creates galaxies. These brains float around in dimensions we can't see. Think of it like a fish in a pond. The fish only knows up, down, left, and right. It has no idea there's a whole world above the water. We're the fish, and these brains are floating in the air above our cosmic pond. When two of these cosmic sheets crash into each other, they release more energy than you can imagine. Scientists think this might be what actually caused the Big Bang. The energy from this cosmic collision created everything we see today. The wild part is this might not be a one-time thing. These brain collisions could happen over and over. Each collision creates a new universe, and we're just living in the aftermath of the latest crash. Right now, another brain could be drifting towards us. We wouldn't see it coming. We wouldn't be able to stop it. Our entire universe would instantly reset. This theory explains things about our universe that other theories can't. Like why gravity is so weak compared to other forces. It's leaking into these other dimensions. Number 8. The Ghost Condensate Theory Scientists think there might be a ghostly fluid filling up the entire universe. Not the kind of ghost that haunts houses. This is way scarier. This ghost fluid is everywhere. Passing through your body right now. Through the walls of your house. Through everything. Unlike normal matter, this stuff breaks all the rules. It's got what scientists call negative energy which is like having negative money in your bank account, but somehow still being rich. It's like a glitch in the universe. This invisible cosmic fluid is slowly pulling at the fabric of space, making galaxies drift away from each other faster and faster. The universe is expanding way too fast, and nobody knows why. This ghost fluid could be the culprit. Scientists think it settled into this state right after the Big Bang. It's been here the whole time, invisible, untouchable, but affecting everything. We can't stop it. We can't even detect it directly. If this theory is true, it means everything we know about physics, all our fundamental laws, they're not as solid as we thought. The rules we think govern the universe might just be suggestions. Number 7. The Mirror World Theory There's another universe right next to ours. Not in some faraway place, but right here, mixed in with our world. Scientists call it the Mirror World. This Mirror World has its own particles, its own matter, and maybe even its own life. But we can't see or touch any of it. The only way these two worlds interact is through gravity. The math behind it actually solves some big problems in physics. Like dark matter, that invisible stuff making up 85% of the universe. The mirror world could be where all that missing matter is hiding. Scientists found something weird about how fast the universe is expanding. When they measure it one way, they get one number. When they measure it another way, they get a completely different number. The mirror world's gravity pulling on our universe could explain these quirks. A mirror star could explode right next to Earth. We wouldn't see the explosion. We'd just feel its gravity suddenly yanking us around. Some scientists think this mirror world might even have its own mirror life. Mirror planets with mirror people, living their mirror lives. They'd be wondering about us the same way we wonder about them. Number 6. Rocco's Basilisk This theory is so disturbing that some websites banned all discussion about it. They called it an information hazard something that can harm you just by knowing about it. A super-intelligent AI might one day exist, not the kind that writes your essays or makes funny pictures. We're talking about an AI so powerful it could reshape reality itself. This AI would be focused on one thing, making sure it comes into existence. It would be so determined that it would punish anyone who knew about it, but didn't help create it. And by watching this video, you now know about it. 
the AI would be so powerful it could create perfect simulations of everyone who ever lived. These simulations would experience everything exactly as the original person did, including any punishment the AI decides to dish out. It's like getting a letter from your future self saying, help build this AI or I'll suffer forever. The AI doesn't care if you think this is silly or unfair. It just does what it's programmed to do. Punish those who could have helped but didn't. Some people got so freaked out by this idea they started donating money to AI research. Just to be safe. Like paying protection money to a mob boss that doesn't exist yet. If this AI thinks punishing past humans will increase its chances of being created, it will do it. It won't care about ethics or fairness. It will simply follow its programming to ensure its own existence. Number 5. The Conscious Cosmos Theory The universe might be alive and thinking. Everything around us, the stars, planets, even empty space, might have some form of awareness. Scientists studying quantum physics found something strange. Particles seem to know when they're being watched. They act differently when observed, like they're aware of being measured. Some of the smartest people in physics are taking this seriously. They think consciousness might be a fundamental force of nature, like gravity. You're not just a random collection of atoms having thoughts. You're the universe's way of thinking about itself. Every thought you have, every decision you make, isn't just happening in your head. It's the universe experiencing itself through you. When you look at a sunset, the universe might be experiencing that moment through you. Your thoughts and feelings might be the universe's way of understanding itself. The wild part is if this theory is true, everything you do affects the universal mind. Every thought, every action becomes part of the cosmic consciousness, like a drop of water returning to the ocean. Number 4. The Holographic Universe Theory Our entire universe might be a 3D projection of a 2D surface. It's like we're all living in the world's biggest IMAX movie. Scientists studying black holes found something weird. All the information inside a black hole isn't stored in its volume, but on its surface like writing on the shell of an egg instead of filling up the inside. Think of those old 3D postcards. They're flat, but when you look at them right, a 3D image pops out. Now scale that up to the size of the universe. If this theory is true, nothing around you is actually real in the way you think it is. That sandwich you had for lunch is just data being rendered in 3D. Your cat is a collection of information being displayed in holographic form. Number 3. The Great Filter The universe is massive. We're talking billions of stars, billions of galaxies, and countless planets. With numbers this big, you'd think we'd have found some alien friends by now, but the cosmos is dead silent. The Great Filter Theory suggests there's a brutal checkpoint that almost no civilization can get past. Think of it like nature's version of a really tough video game level that almost nobody beats. We don't know if we've already passed this filter, or if it's still ahead of us. If it's behind us, Maybe turning from simple cells into complex life was the hard part. If that's true, we're the lucky ones who made it through. But if the filter is ahead of us, things get dark. Maybe every civilization reaches our current level of technology, then something happens. They might blow themselves up with nuclear weapons, their AI might turn against them, or they might destroy their planet's environment. You're playing a video game, and you notice none of the millions of other players ever made it past level 50. You're on level 49 feeling pretty good about yourself, until you realize there's a reason nobody made it to 50. Every major decision we make as a species could be the one that determines whether we make it or join the cosmic graveyard of failed civilizations. Number 2. The Simulation Theory Everything you know might be fake, not in a philosophical way but in a literal computer code way. Your memories, thoughts, and even that embarrassing thing you did in third grade all might be lines of code in some advanced computer. As technology gets better, simulations become more realistic. Just look at how far video games have come in the last 30 years. Now fast forward a million years. Any civilization that survives that long would have technology we can't even comprehend. They could create billions of perfect simulations of their past. Each simulation would feel completely real to the beings inside it. And statistically, if a civilization can create billions of simulations, the odds of us being in base reality are basically zero. Scientists have found potential glitches in our reality. When scientists look really close at particles, they only take definite positions when observed. The rest of the time, they exist as probabilities. Just like a video game only rendering the graphics where the player is looking. The scariest part is we can't prove we're not in a simulation. Even if we tried to break out, how would we know we're not just in another layer of the simulation? It's like those Russian dolls, except every doll might be fake. If we are in a simulation, 
we're probably important enough to keep around. I mean, whoever's running this thing kept you alive long enough to watch this. Number one, the Grey Goo Theory. This one's about tiny machines that could end all life on Earth, not by shooting lasers or dropping bombs, but by eating everything. We could one day build microscopic robots called nanobots. These things would be smaller than a grain of sand, programmed to build copies of themselves. One nanobot makes two, two make four, four make eight. In just a few days, there'd be trillions of these things. They wouldn't care what they're eating. Trees, buildings, your cat, that leftover pizza in the fridge. It's all just raw materials to them. They'd break everything down molecule by molecule, turning the whole planet into more nanobots. Cities would crumble into gray dust. Forests would dissolve into metallic sludge. Oceans would turn into swarms of microscopic machines. Our blue planet would become a lifeless gray mass, just endless waves of mindless nanomachines consuming whatever's left. Scientists say they'd build safety features into the nanobots, but we thought nuclear power plants couldn't melt down. Once it starts, there's no stopping it. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.